going for the corners? It's going great. We're getting coached by a great cornerback, uh, Coach Terrell Buckley. He was, he was great in college, so he's trying to prepare us the same way to be, to step, to set, set stands for us to uh, be great. He said he told the shard he had Google him. Have you done that yet? Uh, yeah, we all have Google him because, <laughs> you know, he was, he was the great of all time. He won the Thorpe. He had 21 picks in college, so we all want to be on his level someday. Does he brag about it? No, nah, he don't brag about it. He's he, he real down there, the guy. Has there been a big difference between he and Deshae because both of those guys were college guys, NFL guys, played at a high level. Is there a big drop off there or, or any kind of difference? It's not a big difference, but again, everybody's different in their own way, but technique-wise, uh, coaching-wise, life skills, they all pretty much the same. They pretty much just act like father figures to us, so they both, there's no difference really. How are you practicing uh, so far with ones, twos? I'll uh, practice with the ones. It's me, Talando, Jamal gets in the mix with us, Lashard, Chris Rayford. We got about everybody, but yeah, me and Talando with the ones. You mentioned Jamal. Just talking to him yesterday, he seems more confident. What kind of progress have you seen from him these last couple seasons? Oh, he's working hard. He's uh, catching on with his plays, and once he gets that down pack, it's go time. What was it like for you last year, you know, finally getting on the field, staying on the field, and how does that momentum translate to this year? Um, it was just. Um, I guess more motivation to step on the field and be ready to, to fulfill this role finally because it's been a long time coming. And uh, I'm excited. It's going to be a great year. I feel like I'm definitely ready to go. What do you feel so, like you've made the most gains this year compared to last year? Uh, gains, I would say maybe my weight. About, about a, I'm 190 now, so that feels great. I feel better this way now than I did in the past years. You've had so many guys ahead of you, Jonathan Banks and Slay. And Tavez, Will, has it been weird for you being the you know the guy that's kind of leading those younger guys now? Uh, not necessarily. I feel like I was been the same guy. I feel like I should have been one point in rows, of course. But again, everybody has to wait their time. So, and now it's my time. I have no excuses. It's time to go make it happen. What did you play at past? You said you're at 190 now. What were you? I was around 170 for about a good three years. Then my well, last year I was about 185. Now I'm around the 190 range, eating more and just stand on top of everything. Why, did, why did you put on, put on the weight? Was it coaching? Was it you? It was just more of not managing my time well, really. Mm -hmm. Now I'm managing my time well, getting my meals, necessary meals in, and now I'm right where I should be. What are you practicing primarily at field or boundary right now? Uh, wherever, wherever, wherever it's time, whatever time, wherever side, it doesn't really matter. Field, boundary, nickel, safety, wherever they want us to go. Enjoy to go. What does LaShard have to do to, to get on the field and, and, and make a big impact this year? Uh, just be ready to, to buy in and learn the plays and just go. That's about it. There's, is, nothing, nothing, no, there's no big big step he needs to take. Just be ready to go with a number call. Is he progressing pretty well? He is. He's doing really well. When you look at, I mean, especially national people looking, Will Redmond's gone, Tavis Calhoun's gone. What would you say, you know, about the cornerback where they have to land if they have you back? There is some experience there. What would you say to people that don't know about this cornerback group yet? I would say that, um, they're in for an exciting year because we're all prepared and we're slowly but surely turning into great corners because, again, we have one of the – we have a guy that won the Thorpe and he knows what he's doing and I feel like he's really making a big difference. You get Maurice Smitherman a little bit of grief because now he's, you know, gone over to those safety guys and left y'all corners for uh, a while. He'll, he'll come back. I'm sure he'll come back. Because, <laughs> again, we have enough we – have, we have some decent – we have, we have, we have, could be great safeties and – Mark, Mark, and Mark, uh, Kevon, mm -hmm. Ben, and Brian, all those guys, and but Mo, he'll come back around the corner because we're gonna need him sometime this year too. You're talking to both the coaches, they say more so than before. Even the safeties and corners are kind of working together, both trying to you know appreciate the whole defense, what's going on at every position, not just your own position. Have you seen that? Uh, yeah, guys learning more than just their position, learning what everybody's doing on the field. So having that chemistry and working together will make uh, us more successful. What have you seen from the receivers so far this camp? They're, they're working. We're showing them different looks, so they're all working. It's coming together well. We got Donald Gray. He's making a lot of catches, a lot of plays.